Hey guys, it's the maker off again and today we're going to be making a butterfly. Now is this my favorite subject? Well, I'm not so sure but you know sometimes you're asked to do something and uh, you just want to get the best result the quickest way and this is what I did. I created this butterfly and it's flying and I think it looks pretty okay you know. Um, so I thought why not share this technique with you so you can guys create something similar or better, or more interesting, or crazier, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, I would like to see it, but you know, first of all, let's just uh, let's just see how this is done because actually, it's not too difficult. It doesn't take too much time. There's not too many keyframes, so this is pretty easy to achieve. So let's go and create a new project. I'm going to do this one from the start. I'm not going to save this one. Um, I did some preparations guys, so um, if you want to know what I did exactly, I will, I will uh, show you if you guys ask me to, because I'm just going to explain for now. I'm going to import uh, this uh, AI file, Illustrator file, as a composition, I will retain the layer sizes, and I'll open it up. So now I'm double clicking the uh, sequence here, and as you can tell, there's a body and there's a wing. So I'll show you quickly what I did in Illustrator. Um, this is a path, this is a path as well. I just imported a picture of a butterfly. I drew the path, I made a clipping mask, so, um, and then I put it on two separate layers. So I have a body layer and a wing layer, that's it. That's basically all I did. Um, like I said, not too difficult. Anyway, so now we have a body and we have a wing. Uh, now I'm going to put this wing in its own composition by pre-composing this one by doing the right click and hitting pre-compose and calling this one wing. I'm going to open it up by double clicking it and it is 10 seconds long. That's because my composition is 10 seconds long. It's a little bit long because what I want to do is I want to make this uh, wing move and I want to make it move pretty fast because as far as I know that's what a butterfly does. So I'll, I'll uh, first of all I'll start by making this 3D by hitting this little 3D looking box right here, and I'll open the R for rotation. Now I'm going to the timeline and I'm going to just um, set it forward just just a tiny little bit, and I'm going to drag this one in. And this is the workspace by the way. So and I'm going to composition trim comp to work area, and this shortens it by quite a bit. And um, I'm going to work on the Y rotation and um, I'm going to hit the stopwatch to make a keyframe and I'm going to do something like, I don't know, 65 here and in the end let's say minus 65 which makes kind of sense because it's going the opposite direction and if I hit my space bar you can see it flapping. All right? This kind of looks like what a butterfly should do, I guess. Um, I just hit the um, this little thing right here which is the motion blur which makes it looks a little more realistic in my opinion um, one thing you can see though is that if I go back to my butterfly composition um, and I'll just move a couple of frames forward is that the wing is cropped that's because in this composition which is exactly the size of the wing when it's flat now it's 3D so actually it's coming like uh, towards me in a way and it's kind of cropping it so I need to address this by going to the composition settings change the height to say 650 or something give it enough space to actually show the tip of the wing as well and if I go back to the butterfly uh, composition here you see that there's no issue whatsoever um, now this is a butterfly which flaps its wings once and then just leaves you know, it's just back to being a caterpillar, I guess, because it only has a body, and we don't want this, right? We want this guy to fly and to fly forever and ever and ever. So what I'll do is I hit the right now, uh, I'll go inside, and what it does is it actually stretches it all the way uh, to ten seconds and two keeping in there. I'll zoom a little bit so you can see a little better. Um, now I hit the Alt key and the stopwatch uh, and then I hit this little arrow right here. I go to property, the loop out and what it does, it creates a loop. It creates a loop for those 10 seconds or however long I want to do this. Now this guy is pretty fast so you won't notice that for a fraction of a second actually this wing disappears. So um, if you try this technique for something that you know moves a little bit slower I'll just recommend you doing this as well. So I'll hit the command key 
and the back arrow. So it moves one keyframe forward. Now I'll hit this, the, the keyframe uh, key here again. And it creates another keyframe. I'll do the same, but now I'll hit uh, command and the forward uh, arrow key to go back to that uh, keyframe and I'll make this zero. Um, and you see it just it just switched, you know, it, it changed location a little bit, but trust me, you didn't see it because it's moving so fast, but now everything is just running smoothly and he's just doing his thing. Only he looks a little bit handicapped and he couldn't fly anywhere with just one wing. So uh, I'll just grab this mirror effect right here. I'll just drag and drop it on top of the wing. And what happened is that right now, actually it is mirroring, it is reflecting it. You can see it because the, the point where it's reflecting from is right here, right in the center. So the other wing is about here. And that looks kind of odd. So um, I'll hit Y and I'll drag this point over to the center where the body is and there you go. Now we have a butterfly. And if I hit space, because basically it's the same composition mirroring, it's flying guys, it's flying. It's, it's just in one position, that's kind of odd, right? Because why would a butterfly just sit there uh, just driving his wings, I guess? You know, he should go places. He should explore and figure out where he's going and just fly around and discover things. Um, so what I'll do is I'll group the wing and the body, hit uh, right click, recompose. I'll call this little, well, let's give him an original name like butterfly. Um, so now we have one butterfly in a composition and uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to tell this guy where to fly off to. So I'm going to draw a path. Um, I'm going to spend too much time on this. Uh, you guys can spend a lot more time if you want. But it's just for uh, the sake of showing you guys what you can do with this path. So I'll go into masks and you have the mask and you have the mask path. Right? So I'm going to select the mask path. I'm going to hit command or control X. Um, now I'm going to the same composition again, hit P for position, select the position, um, all the way uh, to the beginning of the timeline here, and I'll hit Ctrl or Command V. And what you see is that it made a couple of keyframes right here, and you see uh, actually a path has been created. And if I hit the space bar right now, magically this guy will follow it. That's awesome. He's going places. He's just doing it in a little bit an odd fashion by just staying upright, which is the strangest butterfly I've ever seen. So what I want to do is I right click it again, I go to transform and all the way here at the bottom it says auto orient, which is great because that's exactly what we want. We want him to follow this path, right? So if I hit sp spacebar again, you'll see that he is following it uh, just in a very strange way. That's because he's not lined up with the, um, the path, right? So I'll hit R. Uh, I'll rotate him so he's actually facing the direction he's going and that fixed it for us guys. Now he's following this path. So there you go, there's a little butterfly going on a adventure. Now um, I think this one was pretty easy. Uh, I'll see if I have a background for him. Do I? Probably I do somewhere, you know. I think he needs to be in nature. There's butterflies in a black environment. That's kind of sad. You don't want that. I'll scale this up a little bit and um, there you go. So there he is, our butterfly off finding other friends or food or I don't know what butterflies do, mates. Um, anyway, it was pretty easy to do. Um, I hope you guys learned a little bit about the techniques that I used. Uh, you can create many things that have some repetition. Uh, it's not just for butterflies, guys, a whole lot of other stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I hope you like the result. Um, I'm, I'm pretty curious to see what you guys do with this. You know, there's a lot of things you can actually do with this great technique that um, gives you a lot of result for a little bit of work. So um, yeah, uh, see you in the next one. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like this one, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this, just subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. You can always unsubscribe, right? Okay, guys, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.